I am fucking excited. I am fucking excited. You don't understand how excited I am fucking am. <sighs> Get up early this morning was working on some of my projects and I went into my YouTube dashboard and I saw this. I was like, oh, that wasn't there last week. Wasn't there. I am at 8,600 subscribers. So before the end of the year, I'll be at 9,000. So I'll be eligible to take advantage of this sometime next year. Now, I did a little research before doing this video. People are like, oh, I will never ever pay for a YouTube video. TV used to be free. TV came through the air to rabbit ear antennas. I saw it as a child, I know it's true. And it was free. And when cable came out, people said, I'll never pay for a television. I'll never buy cable. How many people do you personally know that doesn't have cable or satellite? A handful and even the ones who don't even have the robust packages have at least the basic package they're paying for television it is it, just like I, I go through this whole thing and I, I look at the commentary because it's like I as a business person understand the massive amount of money that Google's paying for this channel YouTube it's a phenomenal amount of money. And part of the reason that there's so many people who have an issue is this old adage, luxuries once tasted become necessities. There are plenty of YouTube video creators that have awesome content that could be paid for. The, I think it, what was it? Uh, community, not community, I cannot think of it. But Donald Glover, he and his troops started here on YouTube. His stuff was fantastic. It was worthy of getting paid for to the point that when he graduated his film school, I think in New York, he went immediately to writing for 30 Rock. So he had uh, abilities and stuff to be paid for. Being a writer on a show is some pretty nice coin. So let's talk about this. Because obviously at this point, and understand, as I put up in my American Hustler rant video last week, Change is the only constant. Right now, the threshold's 10,000. A year from now, it could be 5,000 or a few months. You, you never know. And this goes to the core of what I'm about to tell you. Get started, stay started. I have been on YouTube since 2009. I've seen a lot of stuff, a lot of changes. I've seen people just delete their channels in frustration. People that had a strong following, were really positioned to do something greater in the future, but because they didn't have foresight, because they were focused on the here and now and the pain, and some of the people left because they were being attacked, which I get. But to another level, you had more love than you had attackers. I've seen people get rid of channels because they've got maybe a clan of 30 people attacking them, but they have hundreds to thousands that love them. So they focused on these 30 people or 40 people or however many and got rid of their channel. To me, that's quite weak. Extremely weak. I pull nigger, dumbass, get your fat nick. I pull that stuff off this channel weekly. And the thing is, I'm like, I know none of those people who say that stuff in a comment or an inbox or a message to me would never say it to my face. So why am I going to get all wrapped up by some nameless coward? Doesn't make a lot of sense. What I'm telling you is opportunity is often covered in dirt. You know, that's one of the 50 laws of hustling. And YouTube is an excellent opportunity that's covered in dirt. Hard work, time, time. Because, you know, there's going to be people like, hey, you know, can we get some comment from someone who doesn't make money from YouTube? I wasn't a YouTube partner when I first started. I did not make money directly from YouTube when I first started for 14 months. Direct money is the assets. 
I made other money. I used YouTube as a lead generation system. And it goes back to give someone to give it to me easy, breezy, break it down where it's not that onerous. Basically, you want to be spoon fed like a little kid, like a little child in your high seat going, eh, mommy, eh, daddy, feed me because I'm too fucking stupid to figure it out myself. Because we are on the precipice of some amazing stuff in the next five years. If you will look at what YouTube is doing, and I want you to think about this. There is someone that created a channel five, six, seven years ago, and they're doing okay with AdSense, and they've got this great theme, and they're going to become a millionaire from these paid subscriptions. Now, just to give you, you know, before you get all wrapped up, I'm overpaying. Well, it's going to be optional for the creator to ask for a subscription. It'll be optional. Now, this is why I am so excited. I have dealt with all of the brouhaha. I'm not paying for information. I'm not paying for videos, blah, blah, blah. I've dealt with that for years. It puts me in the catbird seat on how to deal with people from that aspect. Because, first of all, if you have a channel, and I'm just throwing numbers out there, 100,000 subscribers, right? And you go to pay subscriptions. You would probably lose 90,000. But if you've got 10,000 subscribers and they're paying you a buck a piece per month or per video, there's a lot of ways. Because understand, change is the only constant. What you see today is not going to be what you see next year or the year after. Know that. So just because it's this way right now doesn't mean it may be like you pay for the first video. There's going to be some revision to this because this is what Google does. This is YouTube. So, you know, don't get like focused on this is the way it is. So you got that subscribe. You got that content creator. They lose 90,000, but they gain 10,000 at 99 cents. Let's just say a buck 50. So that's 15 grand per month. Reoccurring revenue at 90, you know, at a buck 50. Now, what's going to happen? as the brouhaha happens, as people realize that they can get paid, content is going to get better. It's going to get much better. Then people are going to kind of relax their attitude. So that person who lost a 90,000 subscriber, as the content, you know, and they start seeing like, wow, that was a great video. And it's like, damn, I didn't see that. Because you pay a buck fifty, two fifty, three ninety nine, four ninety nine for an that you're going to use for a month or two, then get another app. But you're like, oh, I'm not going to pay 99 cents or any kind of money like that for a YouTube subscription? Bullshit. There are people right now who's going, I'll never pay for a subscription. And when it happens and you find the right channel that's giving you the right information, that's feeding you the content, knowledge that you want, you will pay. And as time goes on, that person who lost 90,000, then they'll be back up to 15, and they'll be up to 20, and they'll be up to 30, and maybe 40. And let's say, say they're at 30. Up to 30,000. That's $45,000 a month reoccurring revenue. Do you understand what's going to happen? What's going to come into this space? You're going to get better content. You're going to get people who are like, wow, I can create a YouTube channel and create a business. Now, understand it's a third party platform. Anytime something bad can happen, so you know, just be aware of that. But I'm like freaking excited. I saw that this morning and I was just like, You got to be kidding me, really? Because I heard it, because this has been in the plan for a while. I mean, people did videos in January, but it was not in my dashboard until I looked in there last week. So this happened probably the same day they changed the comment system. So do you understand, for those who are positioned, if you're just a casual YouTuber, this means nothing to you. You throw up, you know, some kid videos or you catch someone doing some, you know, stupid human tricks in the street. That's not nothing. But if you are a business person, if you really understand how the internet works, you really understand what you can do with YouTube and the power of the lead generation power that it has, you will be so excited. Now, for those of you who just started and you don't have a channel, you're going, my God, you know, I can't tend to. You got to start somewhere. 
See, that's another thing. You can't look at me and I can't look at the person with a million subscribers who started in 2006. That's pointless. You can't compare apples and oranges. You, you have to look at what you have to offer. And you have to get started and you have to put videos up and you have to get the subscribers. Because I'm telling you, I already know what I'm going to do. And I'm just like, the minute I hit, hit 10,000, I am going to... And see, this, this is the thing. I'll just tell you. I have all the videos. Once again, YouTube makes this easy. I can go ahead and make this channel 100% paid, take the videos that are already up that I want to be free, upload to another channel and say, hey, the free content's over here. So I'm going to put ads on that stuff, get new subscribers. And this is something I learned from uh, Harlan Ellison. He's a writer, science fiction writer. Star Trip, uh, Starship Stormtroopers, he wrote, no. That was Heineken, sorry, I got, I got it confused. But he's a science fiction writer. You've probably read something that he wrote or saw a movie based on some of his work. So I can resell that content to people who never saw it. Give it free, get ads. Do, do you understand? The hustler mindset isn't about turning into a scared little bitch and oh, oh God, they're gonna charge. No, it's about how can I exploit this opportunity? And there's some people who's like, well, everyone's not trying to make money. You know what? That may be true, but I know everyone's trying to eat. I know everyone is trying to live. I know everyone wants joy, peace, and happiness in their life. And that stuff called coin, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't buy happiness, but it does solve a lot of problems. So all this stuff about, I don't want to put out to get is one of the reasons that you are where you are in your life. Because I can tell you, if you put out, you give, you give, you give, you put out, then suddenly you are hit with this snowball, this meteor of give back that will crush you. It's just like, whoa, how, where did that come from? Because the stuff that I've put out here on YouTube, the returns have been a thousand fold, maybe 10,000 fold. So, this, this is there's a process to this. this. There's a whole process to this. And many people are not getting it because they want instant gratification, instant fame, and they're looking at the world through a narrow prism of their own thought process. Everyone doesn't think like I do. That's why you know, like sometimes I'm like, I'm wrong. I was like, I didn't think that shit was going to work, but boom, it did because there are other people. There's other choices. And with this YouTube thing, I'm going to tell you. There are going to be people who are going to be making killer money. Now, the first group of people that are going to make money from YouTube with paid subscriptions are people such as myself who offer how-to information. It's going to be the first group. Internet marketers are going to be the first group because this is going to be crazy because if you understand the ecology of YouTube, with the integration of the YouTube comments to Google+, to the SEO, to being, it's gonna be bananas. Do you understand me? You can have, you're gonna have people who are gonna do some fantastic stuff. I mean, like I said, I, I just saw that and I just, I was just like drooling. Whereas an uninitiated person who's stuck on, it should be free, I shouldn't have to pay. I have a question for you. If you went to your job and your boss said, hey, you should come to work for me and just give me your best. Tell you what, you don't even come to the office anymore. Just I'm going to put a computer in your house and I want you to give me your best. But I'm not going to pay you. You don't have to come to the office or anything like this. Oh, there's no benefits or anything. But I want you to give me your best for free. You would think he's out of his freaking mind. This, this YouTube channel that's on the servers, that's a massive electric bill. There's servers around the world that are hosting these videos. There's, do, there's so much architecture and people going, well, Google's rich. Yeah. yeah, Google's extremely wealthy. But what does that have to do with the price of pancakes in Texas? Just because they have money doesn't mean that you should benefit. It's nice that they do, but it doesn't mean it has to be that way. And people have the expectation that if someone has a lot of money or someone's in a better position, that they should do X, Y, and Z just because. And it doesn't work that way. Homie, don't play that. It doesn't work that way. Understand Google is a well-run company with a lot of smart people at the helm. And this is part of a plan. 
And I thank that dude that put in the comment section, join Google Plus, because at some point, Google's going to figure it out. And those who get in early and learn it, and, you know, just like I said, my simple thing is I do everything from Glenn and Cameron. And this is a policy that I adopted even during the bullshit phase when there was this forum. I signed up for the forum under Glenn and Cameron. No funny little weird name. So I'm accustomed to expressing myself online under my name. There are many people who want to be what I call so furious, angry, messy, stupid, little bitches, racist, who want to spew all this stuff under an avatar in anonymity. And they're like, no, and they're talking about freedom of speech. And let's just talk about this. Freedom of speech has to do with government and public assembly. That's that said, this is a private corporately owned business. They can tell you what you can and what you can't say. There's a lot of license, but if you do the research, there are a lot of videos. If people flag them, they would come down because this is already in the architecture of the YouTube policy. But people don't know the, the policy. They don't know what can get flagged and what can't get flagged. I had a video I put up the other day. And I don't know how the hell that got in there, but there was some like some stuff that was extremely offensive. So if you saw it, I'm sorry. I don't know how it got in there because I was just like, someone put in the comments and I was like, that ass. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I go there and I was like, oh shit, how did, don't know. I pulled that sucker down quick, fast, and hurry. Because <laughs> it was just wrong. It was just wrong. I'm sorry if you saw it. But the whole deal is there's a lot of things you cannot do and a lot of people get away with these things because people don't know the rules. Now, what's my expression? Come on. What is it? You know, you've been here for a minute. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Learn the fucking rules so you can win. Because everything's a system. Everything's a system. So with that, you should understand this is an opportunity for some people. And also, if you were one of those people, and this is something that I, I struggled with, because when you want views and you want that recognition, you, you know, there's all these offers. You can go out and buy views. You can buy this. And I never did any of that stuff because another part of this, if you bought views, because the thing is, you just can't go ahead and hit the tab. They're going to verify your subscribers. So if there's any anomalies or that it looks like you bought subscribers, you're not going to be able to take advantage. So basically what I'm saying is do your thing clean, earn your subscribers, put your videos out. Yes, it's slow, it's arduous, it's, it's, it's time consuming, but it's worth it because the work that I did in 2009, the work that I did in 2010, the work I did in 2011, the work I did in 2012, and the work I did in 2013 is going to pay me in 2014, in 2015, 2016. Do you see how the system works? You must work first and get paid later. Many people want to work and get paid immediately. And that's one of the reasons the resale game is so hot. You can get up in the morning, hit Craigslist, hit some of your sourcing spots and make, you know, a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks in a day. It's very, very doable. It's very, very possible. However, since I have matriculated into my hustle game, I am about long-term benefit for one-time effort, which goes back to this YouTube thing and why I'm so excited. You can literally create a video and get paid for that video for years. Uh, when the reality TV people were after me and I asked a lot of questions, I was pissing off the producers and there's just like, and one even told me, it's like, you're just a talent. Just do what we say. And that's like, I appreciate your perspective, but I am part of this and I want to know what's going on. And I could, and we actually became friends and I asked a lot of questions and I asked how television works, and I learned a whole bunch of things. And there's this big integration between television and the internet, like Netflix has pulled a serious pimp move that no one saw coming because their stock has went through the roof because when they start to online uh, their own programming. So when you really look at this from a long-term perspective it's freaking awesome if you look at it from a short-term perspective that i could work literally for weeks and months and years and not realize a lot of financial benefit yeah you, you're not going to be happy with any of this you're, you're just not you're gonna go i hear you glendon yeah the inner game yeah this and this 
but I got to get paid now. No, you don't. The sum of your life, the money in your bank account, the money in your wallet, that is all cumulative of the thoughts and the way that you lived your life the day before, the week before, the month before, the years before. You could be getting paid now if you made better decisions in the past. If you're not where you want to be, it's because of the decisions that you made in the past. If you want to have a better future, you need to start making more pragmatic, pragmatic decisions now. And that's why this shooting. Think about it. That's why you got to pick some and stick with it, because I saw a lot of people who got in and made videos, got likes, got comments. I make videos now because the shit's fun. Whether I get 100 views on the video, because when I, I put up a video that's 100% salesy, yet I already know that a lot of times it's just not going to go that far. I'm cool with that. Then I put up something crazy, get thousands and thousands of views. I'm cool with that because I like the process. I like what I do. It's fun. And I'm bringing this to you to kind of modulate your expectations because so many people are like, hey, one of the biggest comments, one of the biggest questions I got, like, what can I do today that will get me the five to ten thousand dollars in the next three to six months? These, you know, now I know ways that can things that can do it for the average person. But why am I going to give my knowledge away like that in an email to someone who hasn't even bought one of my books? It don't make any sense. And I know that sounds very opportunist and it sounds very capitalist. Oh, I am a capitalist. So I'm being congruent in myself in the way that I live and the way that I express myself to you. Because I am a capitalist and I'm a staunch opportunist. There are some people like, oh, you shouldn't be like that. You know, you know what's like that? Nature. When you're in the Serengeti and you see that line and that line sees that antelope that's running too fast and he trips over a rock and then that antelope has a limp. Do you think the line's going... Oh, that's too bad. He got a little limp. He got a little limp. Oh, I'm going to let him limp on and I'm going to wait to one that's running full speed, healthy and just has some wheat grass and I'm going to burn up all of this energy trying to chase his at. No, the lion's going to go. Pooyah. And lions one antelope zero. Stodge opportunists. Because, and why is it like that? Because if they don't eat, they don't live. Do you get me? They don't eat. We have the benefit to be altruistic like that. We have the in nature. No, it's like you either eat or die. And as this world shifts, that's what we're becoming. It's either you eat or be eaten. We are running into a serious peril. And I don't even know how it's going to shape out because whenever something like this comes and it talks about money and getting paid, there's a bunch of people that lose their minds. And then I sit back and I look at the videos and I start to make some judgments. I start to make some judgments. Yes, you know, you shouldn't judge. But fuck that. I judge all the time. And so do you. That's some bullshit. We all judge. Some people call it discriminating taste, you know, being observant. No, it all comes back to judgment. And the, most of the people who are screaming about the money thing don't have any. I watch the videos. I sit and look at the camera. I look at the background of the apartment. I look at their watch. I look at everything because you can make a lot of money and live a very simple life. But there's going to be something that's going to indicate that you make money. Something. You may not buy a fancy car. You may not even live in a nice house. I know a guy that's worth about 20 mil. He lives in a regular neighborhood, drives a regular car. But dude's got an $80,000 watch on. I'm not bullshitting you. He loves watches. That's the only thing he blows money on and his kids. Kids get whatever. So, and all right, I, I should dress it up. His regular neighborhood may be the ideal of an exceptional neighborhood for most people. But he doesn't live in the biggest mansion or the, you know, you would not be aware of his wealth. From what he drives, the way he dresses. And if you don't know that watch brand, you wouldn't even know what the watch costs. He's very understated. So what I'm saying to you is if you are screaming about people making money, the chances of you making money dissipate with each emotional outburst. Because look, this is like this guy's not making any money. This guy's broke. No wonder. People, you can't get what you hate. 
money's not bad. Money's a tool. And I'm going all the way on this because it comes down to this. Money's a resource properly used gives your life options. That's what it is. It's not power. It's a tool. Money is a tool. That's all it is. If you think it's a power, you, you think it's evil, you're going to come up with these narratives and perceptions that's going to cloud your thinking and you're going to miss opportunities like this. Mark my words. It's uh, November 2013. When this thing starts rolling, there's going to be backlash. It's like people are doing subscription. And part of it, the reason that I'm, I'm really happy is I know how to deal with that backlash. I know how to get people to pay for videos. That's going to be a serious skill set to have because you got to offer something great. So that's why when I look at all these people like, oh, no one's going to pay for videos. I'm like, they may not pay for your videos, but they'll pay for mine. And there's so many ways you can do this. So take heart. Do not lose your mind. Don't start being one of those people like, oh, God, they're trying to change YouTube. It was free. I was enjoying it. Change is the only constant. Get on board or get ran the fuck over by it. That's, those are your two options. That's that's it. It doesn't get any better or any worse. That's, that's your option. Those are your options. Those are your choices. So with this YouTube thing, if you are a YouTuber and you got eight, nine, or well over to 10,000 um, subscribers, understand you have options. You can lead your people. You can say, look, I'm going to charge subscribers. I'm not doing it today. And for those of you, there's going to be two groups because that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have content that will be 100% evergreen and free. And I'll just move it to another channel. It's like, hey, you need to go over here for the free stuff. And, you know, and before I do it, I'll just let people know, put up videos for weeks. And it'll be the best of both worlds for those who want the better stuff, the premium stuff, the crazy stuff. Because I have roughly 180 hours of content that's not on YouTube. That's a ton of content. And by the time that I'm eligible for this, I may be up to 200 hours of content and I'm building, you know, or even more. That's why I'm excited. Once again, the creator mindset, not the consumer mindset. If you're pissed, you are pissed in your consumer mindset. If you're a creator and see a lot of people think like I do, but they say nice and pretty things like I'll never charge videos because they know they'll piss you off because they're scared little bitches. But I'm not afraid of your asses. I will tell you the truth because I know a lot of you don't like me who are subscribed, but you respect me. And I'd rather be respected than liked because respected people get paid. Straight up. All right. This is Glendon Cameron and I will see you on the good side.